Hello, my name is Chris, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to syndicate your rental listing out to a bunch of marketing websites such as Realtor.com, Rentler.com, Apartments.com, and many others, all from one platform inside of Tenant Cloud. To get started, you'll simply go over to the Listings tab, and you'll see here that you'll have your listed and unlisted units displayed. To get started, you'll select the unlisted units, and from here you can search for a specific property that you want to list. In this case, we will list this particular unit. From here, it is going to give you the option to syndicate this listing out to the various listing websites such as Rentler, Apartments.com, Realtor.com, and others. And each of these networks also have their own networks of websites that they also syndicate out to. Or you can opt to just list it to your free marketing website on Tenant Cloud. This would be useful in the event that you already have somebody who is ready to apply and you just want to create a listing for them to be able to apply to or to view the listing. Because this is a live account, we will go with listing website so that we do not accidentally list it to a free ILS. And we'll go ahead and click get started. From here, it's going to ask you to confirm that the property is correct and then select next. From here, it's going to ask you for a few different options. So you can select whether parking is available, and if so, what type, laundry, air conditioning, etc. Click next. And once you have set all of these up for the first time that you list this rental, you will not have to do this every single time you come back through. You simply just need to verify that nothing significant has changed. You also have the option to add in custom amenities if the ones listed here are not applicable to your rental property. From here, you'll click next, and it's going to ask you about property features. And same thing, you can select from predetermined options or add your own custom feature or click next. And from here, it's going to ask you if these are the correct photos. You can upload a different banner photo that's going to highlight your property on the various listing websites that it's going to go out to, as well as gallery images that will be the follow-up or secondary images on your listings. From here, simply click Next. It's going to ask you to confirm that your marketing description is still the same or give you the opportunity to modify it as well as to add a YouTube video URL, which might be helpful if you have a walkthrough tour of your rental property. We'll click Continue. From here, it's going to ask you to confirm that the rent is this amount and the security deposit and if anything is refundable. It's going to ask you what the rent schedule is and the earliest available date for this particular rental, as well as what the minimum lease and the maximum lease duration are, or if you offer month-to-month -month lease options. And of course, you can enter more helpful information about the lease details here and then click Next. It's going to ask you if you allow pets in your property, and if so, it is going to ask you what types of pets, and it's going to give you the opportunity to enter additional information such as pet deposits, monthly pet rent, as well as any additional criteria or details about pet rentals at your property, and then click continue. From here, it's going to ask you to confirm the contact listing information, and we'll go ahead and submit the listing. Well done, you have listed your rental property to the marketplace and had you selected the option to syndicate out to the various ILS websites, this would now be sent out to well over a dozen marketing websites available on the internet where most visitors and potential tenants are searching for their next rental home. From here, you can either list another property or you can view a listing, and this listing will be active for 30 days. If you are on the business plan, you can have a feature which allows it to auto-refresh the listings so that you do not need to manually refresh this listing every 30 days. We'll click view listing, and from here, you can unlist it, you can share it, you can also select actions such as viewing it on the website, which will take you to view the actual listing on your free marketing website on Tenant Cloud, where your prospective tenants have the option to send a message or schedule a tour and view other helpful information. And if I had online applications, activated on this website, they could also click a button here that says apply online.
And that is how easy it is to list your apartments to the various marketing rental websites. To get started for free, just go to www.tenantcloud.com and sign up today.